Hello and welcome to Adom. Yeah. Um and a bit strangely, perhaps this is Adom in Medias Res. And if you don't know that in Medias Res means you uh start somewhere in the middle of something instead of at the beginning. Or yeah. Um so why what? Um well this here is the invisible guy. Uh, this is Bong, <laughs> the stupidly, stupidly named um, troll barbarian Bong. Yeah, that's that's a good way to win in a, in a in a roguelike. Name your character or something really stupid, and you'll you can be sure he'll get to the top of your high score list. <laughs> Uh, it's typical. Well, that it's I don't know, bong. It's a <laughs> it works as a name for a troll, barbarian, right? Um, anyway, yeah, this this guy is doing very very well. So that's why I I wish I'd uh, started recording this from the beginning, uh, but I didn't. But I want to at least record the the uh, later half of his life and adventures. Um, Chances are high that he will die very soon uh, Because I'm not very good at this game Well, I'm not too bad, but uh, I don't know everything and uh, I've never won before but I do feel that this could be my first win And that's another reason why I want to record it, you know, just to To, uh, to have done that so Anyway, who is Bong, uh, the troll barbarian? Well, he's completely neutral. Uh, he has been crowned by the, his neutral deity thingy and received as a gift the Skull Crusher, the rune covered club of awesomeness. Yes. Um, he found this black dragon scale mail fairly early on. Um, it was in... Oh, I don't remember. Oh, it doesn't matter. Um, where is other stuff here? Ring of Slaying, Metal Stability, a Giant Tower, Crystal Shield. Uh, he's got some crossbow and bow skills. And these gauntlets. And let's have a look at our other stuff here. We have a Helm of Teleportation. But he also has Teleportitis from... Um, well, let's... I need to kind of say or tell the story um, so he when after finding uh, Kelavaster down in the dungeon here uh, Bong went up to Dark Forge at some point and started drinking from the pools there and um, and uh, got himself um, permanent invisibility. As you can see, I'm always invisible, which is <laughs> a very good uh, thing. Um, oh, what was that? You feel studious, your health increases. Yeah, I got my learning up to 20 now. And toughness is, yeah, 33. That's good, that's really good. Um, could have been better. Yeah, here are my stats, by the way. Um, well, learning is at its max. Dexterity will soon be maxed. Willpower will soon be maxed. So, it's 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 going fine. Um, but yeah, I went to Dark, Poo Dark Forge to drink from the pools and got what I said. And I also got a wish, uh, which I used for an amulet of life saving. So, I saved Kelavaster down there um, and I don't remember all my intrinsics right now but I have at least uh, cold immunity from the crowning which is awesome and the black dragon scale mail is acid gives acid immunity and I have uh, various resistances um, yeah, so okay, it's gonna be a bit of talking here just to get us going. Also done the pyramid, so I have the ancient mummy wrapping and the ankh down there. Um, 
Helm of Teleportation. Yeah, I also got the Teleportitis from uh, Dark Forge. So, every now and then we teleport around. But I also have uh, Teleport Control from a Blink Dog Corpse. So that's, uh, that's quite useful, actually. Crown of Signs. Haven't used it yet. Helm of Water Breathing. Uh, well, I don't really need that because I do have the swimming skill now at 91. Yeah. Hmm. Um, okay, and as far as other skills go, well, you see it here. Um, backstabbing at 100, climbing on dodge and food, preservation at 100, herbalism listening, healing is getting up there. Um, yeah, bridge building, yay. Uh, not sure what this means. Stealth and survival at 100, uh, literacy actually getting up to 84, and I even have concentration at 62, which is... Well, hmm, I wonder if we could learn some spells. I have gotten learning up to 20 now, mana is only 8 though. Uh, but can potentially go up. I don't know if that's a good idea. Uh, speaking of spells... <laughs> <laughs> oh, this is so great. Um, I or Bong has drunk. I th think it's uh, three potions of wonder, which give you a random potion, right? So the first first spell quite early on the scare monster. I had like two powerpoints and couldn't even think about trying to use it. But uh, anyway. Uh, for another potion of wonder, I said, well, I'll drink that, sure, why not? Look what I got! Wish! <laughs> you know, the most ridiculously hard spell to cast in the entire game. 5,700 power points uh, for Bong here, and I, you know, I'm... Well, it's pro maybe not the least spell casting character, but it started with learning very low and mana really low, like two or three. And uh, yeah. so, <laughs> the, the the best spell in the game, and uh, well, arguably the best spell. Um, it has its downsides. I've come to understand, but well. Um, <laughs> oh, this. Uh, Poor Bong will never be able to use his wish spell. Oh, that's the way it goes. Mm, coffee, by the way, in real life. Mm. I'll try not to slurp. Um, yes. What else? Some funny things that have happened in... Um, let's, let's just go through the, 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 the equipment list here. Um, I'm a bit of a pack rat and I take with me anything. Um, uh, yeah, there's the Ankh, where is free action and uh, stuff. This is the Amulet of Order. Um, let's make a note of that. Um, I got this from the Ice Queen. I've done all the requests, all three of them. And uh, got this one and some stat increases and uh, something else. Down in the Frost Giant uh, Jarl Cave thingy, I found uh, this artifact, Halberd Worm Lance, which is pretty awesome. And Bong. Oops. Bong does have some uh, two handed weapon skills, so it's not impossible to use. To use worm lands. Um, also, clubs and hammers is a master. And missing flails at level ten. Uh, I think, yeah, skull crusher is a club. So, so uh, hmm. also got some bow skill, good shields. Uh, yeah, and you know, one in all these because of that. Uh, I gave that Golden Gladius thing to the dude over in the thing. Yes. Bart or whatever. The Grizzled Gladiator. So, um... Anything else to let you know? Uh, face Dagger. 
bracers of regeneration, which are pretty nice. My my regeneration is really high anyway. I've, uh, I'm a troll, and I've been quite the cannibal, <laughs> which isn't um, which isn't negative in this game. Uh, yeah, the face dagger is corroded, sadly, so it's probably not worth keeping. <laughs> Anyway, moving on, tons of various slaying ammunition here, and this is really, really cool. I found this one also in a greater vault down in the Frost Giant Jarl Cave, and this is Obsidian Quarrel Thunderstroke, which has <laughs> a plus 8 to hit, and 20d4 plus 8 damage, it's really, really good. And, even better, it returns to you. No, not at a hundred percent success rate, but it's usually so far it returns. So uh, yeah, this one is really great. Uh, various stuff: dark elven princess figurine of wondrous power. So I could probably summon a friendly dark elven princess, which I haven't tried yet. And I don't know if these last, if you can only use them one time or many times. I don't know. Um, yes, elemental water and elemental fire orbs. Uh, some fun stories there. Um, down in the water temple, I was uh, fighting that snake from beyond, and um, and I hit him really well. Uh, and <laughs> <coughs> excuse me, well, I could show you a picture of it. Um, one second. So here, uh, yes, um, I had to take a screenshot because there is, if you can see in the background there, there's me and there's that snake from beyond and I hit him at full force and he seemed to panic and started running away. The snake from beyond moves across a loose stone, you hear a click. So he walked onto one of his own uh, fireball traps and a huge explosion erupted which made all these water grew and uh, water elementals really, really hostile and angry towards the snake from beyond. <laughs> so that was, <laughs> um, well, nice. Um, I tried to kill him myself, but I think one of these elementals uh, got the, the last hit, <clears throat> the final hit. So, <laughs> that was quite cool. Um, Back to the game. And in the Tower of Eternal Flames, you know, when I got up to the, um, what's a, is the ancient Chaos Worm, I think, and started fighting him, um, that was also very interesting because on his first hit on me, uh, he corrupted me. And he corrupted me so badly that I got a corruption. This one, your blood is turned to acid. And then he hit me again, which made my acid, acidic blood splash onto the ancient kill storm. <laughs> and it blinded him for several turns. <laughs> that was also hilarious. Um, and uh, yeah, so when he was blinded, my, my acidic blood in his face, which he caused himself, really. Um, I could just pound him with Skull Crusher and uh, he went down fairly easily. Mm. As you can see, there's the second corruption here. Your legs will stretch into long, fragile stilts. Base movement costs 750 and minus 4 to PV, minus 4 to kick damage, and minus 6 to appearance. I'm not sure yet if I should cure this or not at this point. Uh, PV minus 4 is okay, I have quite high PV, um, minus 4 kicking damage is just nothing, no effect really, the appearance minus 6 though, uh, makes me get corrupted a lot faster, uh, my appearance is at 1, so we're probably at maximum corruption rate, uh, but I also have, um, here's 5 potions of cure corruption, and I have several um, scrolls of remove corruption or whatever they're called in this little stash here. Um, 
I have yeah, here's a big punch, sort of nonac, uh, all kinds of uh, the ancient scythe. I haven't really used it. Uh, yeah, just too much stuff. I have a uh, yeah, I have a ring of teleport control. Should I ever lose my intrinsic teleport control? Tons of holy water and uh, blah blah blah. Yeah, there's eight blessed scrolls of corruption removal, so we're not really in danger in that sense. Uh, various spell books, even Acid Ball, which is awesome. Um, I I don't know if it, if it's safe for this character to even try to learn any spells. Um, I need to either look that up or get some advice from um, more experienced people but um, yeah because bad things can happen if you just read the spell books and you don't really uh, uh, I guess have what it takes to to learn spells so uh, let's see. yeah no money on my person um, I played for quite a while, very close to 100,000 turns. Um, my speed is good. And I think we have a, quite a fortune here, yes. Half a million gold pieces, so. And our de <coughs> my deity favors me greatly, or, well, or favors Bong greatly, to, to be precise there. Um. <laughs> There's been some restocking in here. Item of beauty, large ration. Um, hunger has been a slightly, uh, well, maybe not an issue, but a bit uh, annoying because trolls have increased hunger to begin with, and I recently learned from um, from some comments to one of Gordon Overkill's uh, Adam videos that the more Artifacts you have equipped, the more, uh, uh, the higher your f uh, food consumption rate is. So I'm trying to walk around without any uh, any artifacts equipped, you know, and just equip what I need when I need it, you know. Um, do we? Uh, whoops. <coughs> I have lots of stuff here. Uh, just eat this ration. So, um, well, let's get started actually playing, shall we? Um, yeah, 18 minutes of just talking about this guy. <laughs> um, so, um, last time I played, uh, Bong here was almost killed by the cat lord yeah I try to not kill any cats but uh, whoops but yeah uh, six cave lions three cave tigers and uh, two wild cats so the cat lord is not pleased and we have to deal with him um, last time I tried I almost well, I used almost all of my potions of healing, you know, extra and ultra healing, and I had to use the, the, or the Chaos Orb of Water, I think. Water, yeah, the Water Orb, which can heal you, but also corrupts you, and then, then I had to go remove those corruptions because there were some bad ones, and blah 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 blah. Anyway, I managed to survive or, and escape the Cat Lord, but. But now I think it's time to try again. So. Um, let's just, um, just quickly, oh, okay, not a blink dog. <coughs> so I'm going to the surface now, because I have found the shortcut into level, uh, 
level 32 of the Caverns of Chaos, so we don't have to uh, go through all these levels to... What's this ring? Cold resistance. Um, yeah, so we don't have to go through all the levels and get even more corrupted. away. Um, what was down here? Pepper petals. Well, not really too useful at this point, but might as well. No, screw that rock. Um, <clears throat> I wish I'd found more stomophilia herbs. That would have been helpful. Um, but I didn't. Uh. Okay, there we go. Teleport. I just find it find it to be a bit quicker to move uh, in ASCII mode when you're just trying to plow through the levels and uh, here's the arena, dungeon level three. Um, Oh, we're really hungry. Damn it. Uh, large ration, sure. Any corpses? Large jackal, yep. Yummy. Alright, so here we are. Um,. Anything else I should mention? I have gotten this courage quest. I don't remember what the first uh, kill was. I think it was a goblin, but I don't know. Uh, last time I checked, to the, uh, the guy in there still wasn't happy. So, uh, the high mountain village. Um, yeah, I know. Yeah, I have the ring of the high king somewhere. I been in there. Um, the Tower of Thorn Flames and the Ice Queen's domain, of course. Uh, but now we want to go. Just evade this guy. And get in. What? Uh, <laughs> here's. The non district cabin. Here's Dark Forge. See if we can make our way. It's, it's annoying to have um, to have the teleportitis here um, because teleport control doesn't work. So we might be yanked about randomly. Um, yeah, here are. <laughs> I. Yeah, I think I got the wish from the first pool. No, it was it was one of the. This one dried up, and I think. This one gave me the wish. Anyway, doesn't matter. Um, up here there were some nice dragon scale males. Blue and white, I think. Um, you feel hungry. You don't say! Ah, like the cooked lizard. Sadly, only one rattling trader had... Uh, Lizards for sale, and he's <clears throat> it takes him a long time to restock. So let's go down this um, shortcut now, and we will boom dungeon level 32. And I'm pretty sure the cat lord is down on the next level, N or maybe not. In any case, I will equip the ancient mummy wrapping so that I can see invisible. <clears throat> because the only thing worse than the cat lord is an invisible cat lord. <laughs> um, I also, let's see, I have a crossbow. I want to have these quarrels of humanoid slaying with poison. I have skull crusher. I have. Um, 
Since the Cat Lord can punch through your armor, I think defense is more important than protection. Is that how it works? Because defense uh, governs how hard it is to hit you, and then protection value governs how much or little damage you take. So I think it's the protection. Cat Lord will punch through. Yeah, I'm gonna say it's so. <laughs> um, yeah, my PB goes down anyway when I switch to the ancient mummy wrapping. Let's see. Yeah, no, this is the bunny level. <laughs> I killed that bugs, dude. Um, just um no this is not where the cat lord is I think it's the next one <sighs> wish me luck should we like read a scroll of luck what's that do hmm I guess it will temporarily increase my luck. Uh, I'm gonna have to check that. Um, no. <laughs> Squad of luck will give um, can give you like lucky intrinsic or fate smiles, but I already have those, so. Um, I don't know anything else we could do to really help us out against the cat lord. Um, <laughs> yeah, we have some nice healing. I have good amount of piety so I can pray um, even use the, the water orb for healing if we need to <sighs> well I guess the, the, the acid the blood corruption well we can't select how or when to use it, of course, but we could get lucky and blind the Cat Lord with our acidic blood. But, hmm. <clears throat> well, you know what? I'm gonna, I'm gonna go down anyway and see. Worst case scenario, we go up here and teleport away. Because you can't teleport on the Cat Lord level, but up here I can. And we have five charges of teleportation there. And we have the teleportitis, and we have uh, two scrolls of teleportation at least. So yeah, I think worst case scenario we'll be able to run away, and best case scenario we kill the cat lord. So here we go. Yes, there he is. There he is. He misses me three times. I'm now in coward mode. Let's try normal. Now let's try first to shoot him with a humanoid slaying poisoned quarrel. It missed. He punches through our armor. He hit me. I'm bleeding. Okay. Yeah, this is another reason why I wanted to record this now, because I tend to just play a lot better when I record and make comments, you know, I'm more careful and all that. So, let's try to hit him. Good, the bleeding stops. Here you see, the invisible killer is splattered with your acidic blood. He didn't get blinded though, but he is doing damage. What if I try defensive mode? You miss, and he punches through. 
normal mode, um, plus 70 to hit, 3d6 plus 36. What if I go Berserk? Takes my Deviate down a lot, but hehe. <laughs> Let's try one hit in Berserk mode. Oh, we missed. Good lord. I'm losing blood. And I'm bleeding. Okay. <laughs> if we go upstairs, he'll follow us. That's, uh... I think we can survive that. Let's go upstairs. Yes, he follows. You lose blood. Deflect punches through. This is. Do I heal or do I just teleport away? Let's um, consider other options. <clears throat> um, wands. I should also probably use my bracers of regeneration. Oh well, um, maybe even the second ring of slaying. Now I think of that. A little late. <laughs> um, let's see, wands. Stunning, I know paralyzation can work, but I don't have that. Um, we have some fireballs, I should surely do some damage um, wand of acid last one of stunning lightning acid or fireballs Let's try fireballs see how that works and we might have to run away after that yeah, that didn't do much. Uh, the problem is we, we can't outrun him, so I'll use my Wand of Teleportation on myself and just... Well, do we go over there or do we... Uh, it's probably a better idea to go here and upstairs and uh, yeah. Okay. Battle bunnies. Uh, try to use the first aid skill. Nope. Does that ever work? It feels like it fails so often. Um, let's see now. I want... why did I rest... Hmm. Yeah, uh, previously I I meant to rest proof these, but... Yeah, let's use these. They have um, both uh, protection and defense and increased regeneration, so... Um, Gauntlets of strength... Uh, Mm, might be a good idea, yeah. More strength means more damage. And we don't need the Ring of Mental Stability against the Cat Lord, so... What do we use? Regeneration or the Second Ring of Slaying? That, uh, that's gotta be a good idea, right? 
and use these. Skull Crusher is a humanoid slayer. I'm pretty darn sure. I did look it up. With defense. Better amulet. No. Ank maybe. No. Defense. Even more defense. Or is it defense he punches through? Not protection. Oops. Uh, yeah, this is what we have. Um, well, this one is never wrong. Um, of course. I'm just wondering. Hmm. Oh, dang it. Okay, well, after consulting the wiki and the improved Adam guidebook, I have found out that um, it is the PV, the protection value, the Catlord can bypass. And DV will determine how easily or yeah, how easily he can uh, hit us or miss. Um, but if he hits, you know, he will just ignore the protection value and that. So, and the trick seems to be to get him disabled. You know, with stunning can work, webbing can work. Um, else we have that could work uh, well those two and um, yeah I guess that's what I have um, so we have uh, five webbing four stunning I could recharge some ones but Um, so that seems to kind of be the trick, and um, <clears throat> you can even throw potions of something at him. Uh, blindness could work if we hit. Um, yeah. So let's regenerate some, as you can see my regeneration rate is pretty awesome, especially now that I have the uh, bracers of regeneration. We could even temporarily use a ring of regeneration. <clears throat> That's like, whoops, yeah, whatever. Two hit points per turn ish. Let's just have some fun with these battle bunnies and regenerate. You know, it's, yeah, well, might be a better idea too. <laughs> uh, well, now we are at full, full health. Good stuff. All right. Yeah, the, the Ring of Slaying helps with missile stuff as well. Um, nothing else that will... No. That seems to be the best choice. And... Well, none of these have a good DV. I guess the strength is useful. Maybe not for ranged uh, attacks, though. And my, um, yeah, okay, that seems like the best option. 
So, humanoid slink uh, missiles. What do we have? We have these that are poisoned, which will be good. Um, do I have more? Well, Thunderstroke. It's not a humanoid slayer, but it does good damage. So, yeah, no more humanoid slayers. Jelly, jelly, giant dragon, jelly, jelly, giant, jelly, jelly, jelly. <laughs> so many jelly slayers. Um, yep. All right. So we're gonna have to use this one, and then probably switch to Thunder Quarrel thing. Defense. Uh, stick to that. <clears throat> Necklace of rapid healing. Um, well, two points of defense be better. I don't know. The uh, ank for more luck. Two points of defense. Um, well, we won't. Um, let's use the ank, you know, just and hope that it does. Uh, <clears throat> That it, that the luck will be a good thing. Um, I also need to eat something before we go down there. Yes. Huh, they actually do some damage. These battle bunnies. Oh god. <laughs> okay. Eat more lizard. One more. There you go, satiated. Now we should be able to survive a bit. Oh, these are so annoying. Battle bunny corpse. I wonder if it's a good idea to eat those. Alright, let's <clears throat> go down and fight the cat lord again. I think this is the best equipment we have. Well, crown of science, but no. <laughs> that has some side effects. I, I don't want to be doomed when fighting the Cat Lord. <sighs> okay, yeah, let's uh, let's give it a try. There he is. <clears throat> okay, let's try now. We're in coward mode. Yes. Zap. Stunning. Let's try that first. He shrugged it off. Oh, yeah! Look at this. The Kettler is splattered with your acidic blood. The Kettler is blinded and he missed us. That's excellent. Um, I'm gonna go. Since he's blinded, I'll just try to. Pound him with skull crusher. You miss. I can. There we go. Moderately wounded. Decides to fight to the death in a blind rage. He's still blinded and a bit uh, enraged. Oh lord! Come on, stop it. That was a bit much. 
Uh, go back to coward mode. Try to shoot him with humanoid slayers. Well, I'll do it in normal mode. I, does tactics have any effect on ranged attacks? I'm not sure. If we can't get away, okay, that's good. Now we shoot. Yes, and he's poisoned. Now we can see again. Okay. <gasps> no, 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 no. He's blinded, and he missed us, and we're almost dead. <sighs> and we're bleeding. <laughs> okay, we need to heal. We can heal. Relax, don't worry. Oh god. <clears throat> he is blind, he's poisoned, and very angry. Um, so, do I pray? Do I drink a potion? I think I'll pray. I hope. Well, can the prayer just cure the bleeding and nothing else? I've had some nasty experiences uh, before where I pray in a really bad situation and the god decides to satiate my hunger or something instead of healing my hit points hmm. okay I um, I would think that <laughs> they, they would heal me and not just heal whatever bleeding but I'm gonna look it up and see if the wiki has anything to say. Well, a prayer should um, heal my hit points. But I'm gonna go for the uh, safer route and drink a blessed potion of ultra healing that should heal me. You feel extremely great. And the cat lord is staggering around aimlessly, blind, poisoned. Let's be berserk and hit him. You miss. Now we can see again. Shit. Okay. <laughs> Teleport away. <clears throat> oh, he is. I think he's blinded again. Um, average 70 hit points of damage. Usually three times, a maximum of nine, so. Um, let's have a look at, uh, yeah, he's blinded, that's this white thingy, the green is poison and the red is rage. Let's try to step away, okay, no. I'll use a teleport that's safe on myself. Over there. What? Oh, okay. Um, he can see again. Um, he's still enraged. How about webbing? Can we get him caught in the webs? Punch through. Okay. Now oh, he's panicking. That's a good thing. Um, can we shoot him from here? Uh, yeah, I think so. Whew. 
Um, well, I just had to take a look at the wiki, and I can't really find out if the <clears throat> tactics setting, you know, uh, defensive, coward, etc., if it's only for melee or melee and ranged. So, um, well, let's see here. Missile damage. Plus 40 bones to hit, 2 to 6 plus 25. If I change to Berserk, plus 64. Yeah, so it does affect ranged as well. Since the Catalog is so fast, you might be able to. Let's see now, Coward. Let's try another webbing. Let's see if we can't get him to. No! 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 Stop it! <laughs> oh, just yet another super close call. Um. Sweet Jesus. <sighs> okay, I'm thinking first a heal, then a teleport over here, and try to get him with a ranged attack. Sounds like a useful idea. Ultra healing, go. Extremely great. I splatter with blood. Uh, okay, we are quite alive. Um, I need to get away from him. Wand of teleportation. On myself over there. Oh god, no. Come on. <laughs> Well, they can't do much to me, can they? It's just a kobold with the Anis hag is annoying. It's not the one who can corrupt. No, uh, I mean curse items. I think so. Uh, okay, here comes the cat lord. <clears throat> Out of ammunition, okay. Um, coward. Teleport again, please. Myself. We could of course just run away, but I really want the satisfaction of having killed him. At least I can equip Thunderstroke. And let's see. Let's use. Uh, blessed Spence Weed. Helps. One more. Blessed Spence Weed. 
There we go. One more. Pepper petals. Okay, those pepper petals work too. Right. <clears throat> now let's use thunder stroke here just to kind of show you. Shoop. And it returns and I catched it. Or caught it. And it does nice amount of damage. How do we dare to... I could do a monster detection. There's the wand. Okay, so he is there. Right? Yep. What if I zap some webbing here? Will that get his attention? No. Okay, there he is. Yes, now he's stuck in some webs. Excellent. Can I? I can't hit him from there. I have to go here. Now I can't see him, really. Let's wait. Come here. There he is. He's struggling against the web. Alright. I'm gonna try to shoot him with thunder stroke. I missed. missed. I mean, coward mode, let's just be berserk. We hit him, severely injured him. We missed. He's still struggling against the webs. Excellent. Yes! Critically injured him. Uh, crossbow at level 6. The quarrel returns. Critical injured him. Out of ammunition. Oh, it didn't return. Crap. Uh, no. Um. Shit. Uh. <laughs> um. Hmm. Javelin of death. Not sure what that really is, but I don't have any skill with javelins, so... Um... Well, this is... Annoying. Um... Of course, try a wand. <clears throat> Far slaying. I don't have much experience with this one. It seems quite dangerous. And uh, wands like, uh, for example, I guess, well, lightning and magic missiles, they can burn through the webs. Well, and he can just shrug off the bolts as well. Acid might work. Stunning. <sighs> or if we could get him to come over here and just struggle with these webs. I'll
breaks free, cringes in pain, decides to fight to the death. He panics. Okay, now I can get my quarrel back. Maybe. Yes, I can. Coward mode. Pick it up. Yes. He's blinded. Excellent. Aggressive. Shoot. Miss. He panics. He kill. Stop it. Stop it. <gasps> we have four hit points left. <coughs> Holy crap, this is the... The most thrilling fight ever. <laughs> uh, okay, my. <laughs> I'm just terribly, terribly uh, worried now. It is blind, is poisoned, everything, but. Do I heal or do I teleport? I teleport. Myself there. Shoot him. He staggered somewhere. I'll eat blessed pepper petals. It's good. Also used to spend weed. Pretty much shaking here. <laughs> so close, so close to killing, so close to dying. Good. Mama, there he is. Okay, Berserk and shoot him. He's panicking. He's so close to death. Yes, good. Yeah! <laughs> wow. I did it. Woohoo! Oh my god. Wow. It's the first time I've the first time in my career of playing Adam I've managed to kill the Cat Lord. <sighs> oh god, that was insane. Why? Wow. 226,000 XP. I think I'll gain a level though. Yes, level 20! Oh, and I get four skills now. It used to be only three because my learning was so low. Oh my god. That was thrilling and holy crap. I'm so happy I made it. <laughs> I would have been so sad to lose this character. Now. <laughs> Um, okay, let's increase some skills here. Athletics, there we go, 99. Let's go for healing. 100, yay. 
Um, what else do we need? Swimming doesn't hurt. No. Uh, P. What else? First aid. Yeah, let's go for that. Your looks improve. No. Oh. Really? It's that charisma appearance. It's appearance, but now appearance is minus seven. Oh, because of the ancient mummy wrapping, of course. Let's take that off now. Get back to my black dragon scale mail. Yay, appearance two. <laughs> oh my lord. Let's just see if he left us anything. Clothes and a sword. Wow. Well. <laughs> I'm a bit exhausted now almost. That was highly thrilling and emotional and uh, I don't know, satisfying. And this video is over an hour long. I might split it up or just upload it as it is. I don't know yet, but Thank you for watching, and uh, I hope it was enjoyable and and uh, exciting. Yeah, I'm, my, my, my voice is probably trembling. In my... Yeah. Um, anyway, so thank you for watching, and I guess I'll continue recording the adventures of Bong, the troll barbarian, and. And uh, next time, I guess it's time to dive deeper into the Caverns of Chaos here and uh, see what we can find. So, hey. Oh, this is where I dropped some stuff earlier. <laughs> Okay, yeah, let's just end this video, um, and, um, I, I'm just out of words now. Join me again next time, and, uh, until then, take care.